Okay, so what I was just finished saying, what, what I was saying was, we have five different variables, well, maybe really six. So we have the focal length, which we already met. We have DO, which is the distance the object is from the mirror. And it's going to be measured along the principal axis, okay? We have DI, so O is for object. DI, hopefully you're guessing, distance image is. It just mirrors that blurry. Distance image is from mirror. Then we also have HO, which is the height of the object, again, over object. And we have HI, which is the height of the image. Okay, and I guess technically we also have capital R, which is the radius of curvature. Oh, and we do have one more that you would know from bio, those of you that took bio, and that's M. It's magnification. So with these, we're going to get three different equations. One equation um, is going to con uh, connect the focal length, the DO, and the DI. Okay, and it's really pretty easy. I'm just trying to move my camera here. It's 1 over the focal length is equal to 1 over DO plus 1 over DI. Now, I could derive it for you if you wanted me to. Um, it's right here. So the top diagram, I guess I need to make it a little smaller. The top guy diagram shows my object here. It has some height HO and my image here, some height HI. And clearly it's a, vert a real image because it's on the same side as the mirror as the object and it's inverted. And so the first thing that we can see is these two triangles are similar triangles because the two thetas here are the same because of the law of reflection. And the angle here is the same as the angle there. They're both right angles. And so the third angle in each triangle must be the same, so they're similar triangles. If they're similar triangles, it means their sides are proportional. And technically, there should be a negative on the HI because he's upside down. Okay, so that gives us one equation that I'll come back to in a minute. Then, if we do different rays for our diagram. So here's my HO and my HI again. But this time I do the ray going in through C. Then the angle that the ray makes going in through C um, in this triangle with HO will be equal to the angle that it makes in the triangle HI. So those two thetas are the same. Okay, um, Because of that then, and these two are still perpendicular, so because of that, these are similar triangles again, which means HI over HO should be equal to the base of this triangle over the base of this triangle. If this whole thing is DO and this is R, then the base of this triangle is DO minus R. If this whole thing is R and, sorry, if this, if this whole, and this is DO, then the base of this triangle should be R minus DO. And so then you get this ratio, you cross multiply, da 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 da, leave it as a job for you to do, but you end up with 1 over F is equal to 1 over DO plus 1 over DI. And I swear if we were in class together, I would do that for you. But just so you don't know, so that you know I'm not making it up, 1 over F is equal to 1 over DO plus 1 over DI. When you use this, I want you to find the common denominator of the fractions, and I want you to solve it with fractions. You are not allowed to graduate if you cannot solve for an unknown in fractions by finding the common denominator. Okay, so that's one equation. A second equation comes from this first triangle, and it was HI over HO is equal to DI over DO. And usually we put the negative on the DI, okay? 
If you think of bio, magnification in bio is how many times bigger the height of the images or the size of the images compared to the size of the object. So this is magnification. This negative here is simply because the HI is going to go in as a negative if it's real because it's going to be upside down. And so if you're finding then magnification, if you get a negative magnification, so negative M or HI, it means the image is inverted. Okay? If you get a positive M or HI, it means the image is right side up. Now here's the part that might mess you up, and so image is erect. Inverted means this guy's real. And erect means this guy's virtual. And why that's going to mess you up is because if you get a DI, if you're solving for a DI and it ends up being negative, like it will in case 5, that means it's virtual. So a negative DI means virtual. But a negative on the HI means it's upside down, which means it's real. Okay, so hopefully you can wrap your head around that. I think once you start doing the math, it'll make more sense. Um, all right, so anything that lands on the front of the mirror will be real. Anything that lands behind the mirror will be virtual. The reason I'm saying that is because if in this question, in this case, I could tell you that an object is placed, I don't know, 10 centimeters in front of a concave mirror that has a focal length of 20 centimeters. And then I would ask you to find the image, and it will work out to be negative. But maybe instead I will tell you that the image is behind, and I'll ask you to find the DO. If the image is behind the mirror, you have to put it in as a negative because it's it's a back, it's like on the opposite side of the mirror, okay? So homework from this lesson will be drawing some ray diagrams and using these three equations, two equations. The third equation, which I didn't show you uh, today, but I did yesterday, R is equal to 2F. Oh, and maybe one more thing I should tell you. If you have a distant object like the sun. If light is coming from a distant object, we always assume that the rays from a distant object come in parallel to the principal axis. And so, whoops, so they are going to go out, focus, pass through F, right? Rays parallel to the principal axis pass through F. That's why you can focus the sun on a sheet of paper with a curved mirror and start a fire because the rays come in parallel and they cross through F. So if they tell you it's a distant object uh, hitting a concave mirror, the image would be here at F. Okay. Look at the equation and you can see why. If it's a distant object, this DO is going to be really, 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 really big, which means 1 over DO is going to be really, 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 really small, which means 1 over F will basically be equal to 1 over di. In other words, di will be equal to f. The image will form at f for a distant object. Okay, so homework on page 374, numbers 1 to 4, and on page 376, numbers 5 to 8. Okay, so 374, 1 to 4, that's a 4, I swear, and 376, 5 to 8. All right, good job.